Face, come here. What happened? My like back wheel walk up. Back wheel walk up. I called it. Me and Dad were watching. The bike he slid down. out in the, and then in the mud. And I'm like, back, back brake's probably stuck. Or his rear's probably stuck. And then I called it. Dude, you stayed clean. Did I go? Did I go? That's the question. Oh my god. <laughs> and we're overheating. <laughs> oh, the chain blew. Oh, looking good this morning. I thought that was Pace's race bike. I was like, what? What was in there, bro? <laughs> Mud. Mud? Yeah. Wow. Day three, did the sight lap. It was really, really, really funny. First couple days got rained out, so had to do a couple laps and then pack it in, sadly. But today it looks like a clear day, so hopefully we won't get any rain. And hopefully we have some good racing. Boys, you're back to back like uh, motos like or heat bro? races. Like you can see. Hey, Do you understand listen that? To your mom. Hi. Did you get any sleep last mom, night? Uh, a transponder. He couldn't sleep last night because he was scared of Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the dinosaurs with those. Mom, get you can't even let me the one that went into a leg. So poor Tate suffered the consequences <laughs> of having a small child up his back all night. Every time Kai gets on the gate, thunder's gonna come. What are you doing? I'm trying to crack your knuckles, bro. I'm trying to break. Oh. You can't crack your knuckles, bro. Oh, this is uh, this is Frank the Tank E. No, Freddy. Who's Freddy? Freddy. Who's Freddy? Oh, blind Freddy does not have eyes. Oh, yeah! One, two. <laughs> Go, bro. Come on, Pace. No. Is this? Oh, no. Two turns 
minutes to go. Chad Reed's bike going up in smoke. Where's Windsor? Who is Who's over eight at Daytona? No, he, he is. Kevin Windham was a minute six behind. Oh, look at the, oh, look at the frustration. Done. He's done. Look at the frustration I on Chad Reed. cannot my eyes. He's trying to keep this spike started. His bike is not going to crank, you guys. I, can, I cannot believe my eyes. Chad Reed was just two corners away. Oh, look at Yeah, he's he's mad at us. I can't, I can't believe it. Oh, and there's man. nothing he can do. No. I mean, I... And is, Reed just feel, sits there. I feel so, so bad for him. <laughs> you think that's he's racing 50? over the arm rail. Hey, Chad. There you go. Chad, do you think that's 50 will be able to make it? Ty, where's the, what's that? Do you think that's 50 will be able to make it? Because I raised a 50. 50 is going to be the same, I would imagine. Yeah. That's going to be bad. It's group one out on the starting line. <laughs> number 23 hails from Sydney, Ohio on the KTM. That's Ian Stiver. The number 44 is from New Carlisle, Ohio. That's Brandon Bradford. One lap to go and just locks up. Dude, didn't you crash, rode great. Didn't crash the whole time. Everyone else did. Locks he up on me. He rode so good. I was so proud of him. It was awesome. There's a lot of Daytona 2008 vibes right now in the Reed House. It might be a little bit, uh, you know, PTSD for Chad. He's like reliving it. <laughs> Like he was just a heat race, okay? We got the mains coming up. All right, Kaya, you good? Uh, I got second in the heat race. Doesn't really matter, it's just gate pick. So uh, the main will be coming up soon so hopefully we can bring the dub there so it was super muddy in mine uh i'm surprised i stayed up i almost crashed a couple times yep got one more heat race yeah yours was no i know yours what do you mean steeper than yours back to back honestly our track was pretty much the same yeah mine was a little deeper though you got balked that one lap by that kid you slowed up just enough and she stuck and that's where the bike was actually making weird sounds. Yeah, and that's fine. You ride that thing until it stops. That is your job. Somebody else will fix it. Mm. You would have been second off the start if you didn't pull a, uh, yeah. a tear. Like, I, I couldn't see anything. Couldn't see anything? No. Like, my whole goggles, I couldn't see anything, so I was just like, yeah. All right, let's go. Gate pack. Dude, we found a good line. I just didn't stay committed. Yeah. Kind of just stayed in my pace, found some better lines, and uh, yeah, pretty much ran away with the win and stuff. Yeah. Easiest thing would just be to get in the Hilo one, but. Today's been brutal. It's like, you know, like thankfully we didn't get any rain overnight, but it was the a lot of damage done yesterday and uh, pace, <laughs> we put him on it. We have a spare e-bike that we kind of use for 
spare slash pit bike. I let him ride that. Well, then it locked okay. up. That meaning dirt and rocks got in the chain and the sprockets. Um, and so then I either quickly get that back, and then Tate did the parade lap, well, whatever it is, the sight lap, which then I had to completely wash his bike. Uh, and then he did a moto. Pace was in the very next one, led the whole thing all the way until like literally feet before the white flag and then uh, that bike also uh, got rocks in the counter shaft sprocket. Actually it's not really rocks, it's just built up with mud. Um, but he rode awesome and then we had to wash everything like super fast. I think I've done like, I don't even know how many bike washes but way too many. I uh, didn't even drink or eat this morning. Luckily I had a coffee to get me going. So. I missed my moto because that's not the priority. What makes me excited is, is speed is what wins, right? Like, let's be honest. You need speed. You need to find speed to win. But okay. technique at some point has to matter. Um, and so in the mud, I think technique, you know, always brings the, you know, the, the good kids to the top. The cream always rises to the top. So I'd like to think that we're doing something right because all kids are riding really well. Um, you're not crashing, you know, they're not s sitting down and paddling. Um, they're, they're doing all the things that, that you're supposed to do. So now we just need to find some speed. You're not going to ride your 50? No. Wow, come on. I'm going to win the whole e-bike. You're going to win the e-bike. All right, well, if you're going to win the e-bike, that one kid that actually won the first one is, is pretty fast. So you're going to have to get in and out of those turns. Yeah. You can do it. I 100% okay, believe in you. Every time he's up to moto me, he fell back down. That was in the mud and you were very, very clever in the mud. But I went, and we, I didn't we crash need to find some anytime. speed. We need to find some commitment from point A to point B, meaning through the turn, off the turn, to the next turn, or from one jump to the next jump. We gotta go faster. There's 32 Full gas. Again. Speckle, also speckle, something speckle, else speckle, we shouldn't talk about. No, no. Your right. shirt's on backwards. No, Back. I don't. <laughs> I almost won the class, bro. You almost won. You know what they said about almost? No. I almost won Daytona, too. That's all right. I'm not so worried about that one. You still won the championship that year. It was all the ones. It's the championship she lost by less than five points that really I mean, I like the... Frames broke or the actual power bank broke. What does that mean? I, I don't know. I don't think I have a spare one either. You were riding so good. And then I saw you going over the finish line and you were like nothing. And then I saw you go to the mechanics area. It actually area. happened in like the turn. Yeah, and I saw that. It was like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and then you just kind of like made it up onto the hill. I saw that. Whenever I shake my head, that something's wrong with the bike or I got uh, sketchy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> One of the I was really proud. You were riding really good on the bottom of the turns where it was nice and grippy. Don't be sad. It's part of it, babe. So no mercy. You never know. Everything matters. Everything. Everything. Matters. Look, I got told growing up. Nothing matters if you win. It's the only thing. It's 100%. Did you hear that? Hey. Poppy no. Dukes used to tell me all the time. Also, the people that tell you, ah, uh, it's not all about winning. 
Those are the ones that never won, ever. Winning is everything. Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. It's the only oh. thing, child. Get so. it? Sponsors, here I come. Sponsors, here I come. don't go inside, 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 inside. It's like a gun. You have so many shots. One bullet and done. Set it up. You, you, you can't. You, you're going to get nowhere by trying to be frustrated. You're riding frustrated and you ended up on the ground. Back up a little bit and watch what you're doing. Set him up. You're so much faster. Why would you try to take a nibble? Like, why take a nibble out of every turn? Nibble, nibble. Take a little, lose a lot. Take a little, lose a lot. Okay, so when the track goes down and then the berm starts here, do you notice how sharp those hey, bumps are? The there is no fork, there is no suspension in the world that I can help make that work there. Hey. When I ride there, it's horrible for me. It almost blows my hands off. So what you have to do is you have to get over to the inside, carry more speed. Be careful if there's somebody on the inside because you don't want to have a head on. But you jump to the inside, then you then you use the exit. Supercross is all about get in there, load, 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 and at that point you have to pivot and go. Yeah, I actually named him after you. There you go. And then he met you at the national. Yeah. I brought that if you him? want to whip out on Ronnie yeah. Mac. Number plates if you can. Take a look at the bar pad, man. It took me 10 years to find that freaking bar pad, and I finally found it. Aww. There you go. I 
appreciate it. It has been a day. It has been a week in one day, okay? I'm sweating. It's, it's been a day, huh? I can't even say anything else. I'm like, Ugh. Wait. There, there's more. Like, come on, like, smooth. Get in and out of those chairs. Do the jump when you drop it. double, triple on, and then triple, which was so much easier than it, than I thought it was gonna be. So, yeah. Then I caught up to him and almost won, but didn't get there, but. So don't forget to like and subscribe. You break it, you fix. So, for all you people, do not crash. It is not worth it. Then you have to change it, and it sucks. So, yeah. Oof, I don't even know where to start. Long two days. Uh, today was gnarly because we got a lot of rain yesterday, so they canceled. And then, of course, we got a little bit of rain in the night, and then it was wet in the morning. Well, it was hot, and so it just kept getting stickier and stickier and stickier. So they rode their butts off today. Uh, Pacer rode really well, almost won his heat race, and it basically just clogged up with mud. Um, you know, the counter shaft and everything like that just gets so heavy and it won't turn over anymore. Kaya rode really, really well in the mud and then was having a great uh, moto and her uh, pow bow broke. So Tate rode really well. I think he went 2, 1, 4 ish, 4, 6. Uh, he crashed. I think he had actually had two crashes. And then, uh, and then was kind of battling, you know, like there was this double and then it was like a table. I don't even know what you would call it, but you had to jump from the table onto uh, onto something, almost like another table, but not a table. Um, and I really felt that he could do it. I studied it all day. I rode today, so I, I knew it wasn't going to be sketchy. Um, you know, and then there was a triple after it, and I totally knew he had, had it. So I kind of had a little bit of a chat with him on the line. I'm just like, bro, let's, you know, like, you know dad's always going to have your back. I... I wouldn't let you do anything, you know, even if it was, I was, you know, I always side on the side of caution, um, but I really felt like he had it, so I was just like, let's do this, and then of course, when I want him to do it, he, he takes five of the six laps to do it, does it on the last lap, 
uh, and kind of was finding his groove, was catching the kid in first. Um, and then I think he just got a little caught up in the moment, jumped the finish line thinking that he had a shot at winning it. Um, and unfortunately there was a, you know, a slower rider out there that was like a lap, a lap down and Tate landed kind of right next to him, caught his bar and flipped end for end as you'll see in the video. So uh, you can see me in the background. I was kind of already, you know, halfway walking off because the race was over. I, I knew he couldn't get the win. Um, so yeah, I seen the whole thing, and it's the one thing that you know that that everyone says, ah, oh, you know, it's part of the deal, and it's like, man, show me in the fine print where where that is, because you know, as a writer, as an athlete, as a dad, it's horrible, you know. Like I would rather take those hits than watch my my kids take that hit. That's the it's the one thing that gets me a little bit still. Like I don't like it. So, um, but I also recognize and acknowledge that that is. Bit of, it's, it's part of the game. I think that uh, I'm not a big believer in mistakes. I don't believe he made a mistake. I believe that he made a poor choice, and the poor choice could have hurt him and somebody else. So uh, my opinion is, is uh, you know, just you got to look ahead. And and in that case, uh, the video that I see and from where I was sitting, he really didn't have a shot at it. So there was no reason to jump the table. So anyway. I'm probably your typical dad where I'm hard on him, but, uh, you know, we could blame the other kid for being on the middle of the track, um, being a lap down, but it's just like if you rear-end somebody at a traffic light, you know, you're going to get the ticket, not not the guy who you rear-ended. So, anyway, we continue to learn. Awesome experience on Supercross. Uh, I really hope this event is, is something that continues because I would absolutely... Uh, I would ask for better weather, please, Scott Plessinger, if we could have a little better weather, just make my day a little easier, and yours, I'm sure. But outside of that, really, really awesome day, and I'm excited for motocross. He can relax, he can roll off the throttle, rain. 